Hi, Vanilla Lattes, and welcome back to our ASMR channel. I'm feeling very relaxed and happy to be spending some time with you. If this is your first time stopping by, my name is Lori Latte. It's very nice to meet you. Please make yourself at home. And be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm at McDonald's, y'all. Yeah. I'm at McDonald's. I have the satellite radio. It's Friday. It's 2.45. I just got out of work. And I'm going to be trying a Big Mac. They have a coupon. $6. $6 Big Mac combo. I'm not going to say I've never tried a Big Mac, but I don't eat food at McDonald's. I just get coffee. Okay, but every once, every once in a while I'm craving fast food. If I ate a Big Mac, it was a very, very long time ago. I don't crave Big Macs. They make them a special sauce. It's two patties, it's lettuce, it's onions, it's cheese. I customized my Big Mac. I got mustard and ketchup, no onions, no salt on the meat. And they're happy to oblige. I got french fries with no salt, so I get fresh. You get fresh french fries when you request them with no salt. I have edema, so I don't get my fries with salt on them. But I am going to eat cheese. Instead of a soft drink. Because they know me. They did a substitution because usually it's like $1.50 more. So it would have been $7.50. They throw me solid because I'm Lori Latte. Look, I'm famous. I'm famous to these people anyway. Look, do you see that? It's like the espresso's on the bottom. Look, it ombres. There's the espresso and the milk's on the top. This coffee is delightful. It's an iced vanilla latte. One pump of caramel. It's really good. Let me show you the burger. Again, I'm trying a Big Mac. To be honest, for me, a Big Mac's just kind of a plain burger. I'm a foodie, y'all, okay? I'm a foodie. My family has a Mexican food restaurant. I've been eating really good food since I was a little kid. Of course, this is just my opinion. Okay, just my opinion. You know what? They forgot the cheese. Oh no, it's on the bottom. It's on the bottom. I started to pick. I like cheese on my burger. So this is the Big Mac, y'all. Let me show it to you. I'm gonna give you my honest opinion. See, it's two burgers. It's three slices of bread. It's lettuce. It's whole the onion, because I don't eat raw onion. But the cheese is on the bottom. I did ask him to add mustard and ketchup, because that's how I like my burger. I'm gonna put ketchup on the side here for my fries and I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. I can tell you that their french fries are very delicious, always. But ask for lightly salted or no salt, okay? Because they have a salt shaker that they turn over and it's like a shower head. It has very, very fine salt and your fries are gonna get smothered in way too much. Lightly salted, please. Fresh french fries, please. Okay. 
So I just went ahead and put some. I like my fries with ketchup. Okay, I don't like plain fries. Alright, we're going to take a bite out of this. <clears throat> it's going to be messy. There it is. You know, the last time I tried one of their burgers, I didn't really prefer the taste of the meat. There's nothing wrong with the meat. It's beef. But I have a very particular palate. We sell burgers at my restaurant. Our burgers are good. We use really good beef. So, we're going to see what the haps is here with this Big Mac. The bun is really soft. The meat is very tender. Let me take another bite. The meat tastes fine. It's a thinner meat, so I like that. I did keep the special sauce on there and it's basically Thousand Island dressing. Let me take another bite. You see the dressing? It's right there. It's good, y'all. It's a good burger. Six dollars. I'm saving you money. At least where I live, it's six dollars. Please leave in the comments if you have the app. Look at your app right now. Do you have the six dollar Big Mac combo on your app? Please let me know in the comments. Pardon me. It's a good burger. It tastes really good. The bun's good. I like sesame seeds. The fries are really good. For six dollars, y'all. Look, burger combos right now, they're pretty much going to be spending $10, and that's what they have to charge. You're talking about beef. Beef is a very, very costly commodity right now. Mmm. is really good. It has a good flavor. This is a very high calorie meal. Yeah. If you do this every once in a while, nothing's gonna happen. Okay. I don't eat out much. The sesame seeds are hitting the spot. I like sesame seeds. Okay. It is a little tiny bit messy. But if it messy, it ain't good. You know what I'm really craving are their nuggets. And they 
have a nugget coupon. I could have redeemed that one. Tell me if you have these coupons on your phone. Okay. The coupon that they have right now for the nuggets, y'all. You buy a 20-piece chicken nugget and they give you two small or medium fries for free. See, so you can split that meal. You can eat 10 nuggets and, and you get the medium fry and give 10 nuggets to your partner and a medium fry. Okay. And their 20 count nuggets with tax might be, it might be 650. Okay, I'm making a mess with this burger. What's going on? The only complaint is they put way too much special sauce on it. Like, I'll be right back. I'm gonna remove some of the special sauce. It's too much. Hold on. Okay, y'all, I'm back. They made me a new burger. I want you to see the level of customer service at McDonald's. Okay, it's not just because it's me and then I'm Lori Latte. Okay, you're gonna check your food before you leave. If it's not up to your standards or your satisfaction, you just go inside and say, excuse me, my order was made wrong. In this example, my order was not made wrong, y'all, but they smothered it with way too much special sauce. It was drowned. It's not edible at that stage, okay? If you like the special sauce, just tell them light on the special sauce, please, and then check your burger. If for some reason it's not right, they'll make you another. I went inside. And they do it with a smile. Okay, they do it with a smile, y'all. You know, I'm commending these. I'm going to call corporate McDonald's and commend this staff. I do it all the time. And I got the bag that's got the french fries on it. Look, isn't that a cute bag? Look. Isn't that a cute bag? Okay. We got another new Big Mac here. They made me a fresh Big Mac. Just the way I ordered the other one. No salt on the meat. I told them, please skip the special sauce this time. Look. I did take some bites out of that other one, but they took it back and tossed it out. The only thing is I'm going to have to remove the onions because I forgot to tell them no onion, y'all. So onions, I'm sorry, but you are coming off my patty. I do like raw onions, y'all, very much, but I have digestive problems. So if I eat onions, it doesn't go in my favor. Okay. Let me take the onions off. Okay. I hope I got all of them. second time. Don't get me wrong. I do like the special sauce, but it was smothered in it, y'all. It was too much. It made the burger very slippery and very soggy. Much better. I have not eaten y'all, just in case you're wondering.
the Big Mac is good. It's a good burger. I like the bun. The beef tastes good. Make sure you get you a fresh burger. I like the sesame seeds. They'll customize it for you right? because it comes with special sauce. It does not come with mustard or ketchup. It comes with pickles and onions. No. They are very generous with the condiments. So you might want to ask for the bun to be dry and the condiments on the side. That is an option. They'll do that for you. This is a good burger. I give it 8 out of 10 stars. The customer service is outstanding. That's 10 out of 10. If you haven't downloaded the app. Or maybe you hate McDonald's. Maybe you hate McDonald's. <clears throat> if you hate McDonald's, please do not download the app. But if you like McDonald's, and if you go to McDonald's, get the app because they have coupons galore, daily deals, and you're going to save money. Okay? Your best bet is going to be to get the condiments on the side, okay? Because, look, I'm not trying to be a difficult lady. But they're a little too generous with the ketchup. The burger's sliding around, and I don't like that. No. I don't like that. Okay. That's just a personal preference. See, they put way too much ketchup on it. Do you see? So they have a condiment issue. They're going to drown your burger in condiments. Get the condiments on the side. Get the bun dry. I'm always going to give you an objective review. But the burger itself is very good. Well, I'm going to stop eating. Show you the coffee before we sign off.